In this video, we are going to solve a logarithmic equation. Extraneous solutions may occur as we solve logarithmic equations. So before we dive in, let's check the domain on which a solution is valid. Recall that the input of a logarithmic function must be positive. So here, x plus 4 must be greater than 0. And solving that linear inequality, we get x must be greater than negative 4. We also have that x minus 1 must be greater than 0, and so we get x is greater than 1. Now the intersection of these two sets is simply x is greater than 1, and so that is our restriction for this equation. This means that our solution, if 1 exists, must be greater than 1. I encourage you to pause the video and give this question a try. To begin solving this equation, first we need to write the left-hand side as a single logarithm using log laws. All of those log laws stem from the relationship between exponential logarithmic functions as they are inverses. And the first log law that we're going to be using is going to get rid of that negative 2 in front of the second long term. So we're going to rewrite the second term as plus ln root x minus 1 to the power of minus 2. We could also have only taken the 2 and we would have left the minus sign there. That works as well. We then want to simplify that second term a little bit more. Remembering that square root can be rewritten as a power of 1 half. And when we apply our exponent laws, we get that that term inside is x minus 1 to the power of minus 1, or rewriting that as 1 over x minus 1. Now we're going to use our other log law to write this addition as a single term. So this is the same as ln x plus 4 times 1 over x minus 1 equaling 3. Now that we have a single logarithm equaling a number, we can utilize the fact that ln and the exponential function are inverses of each other and so cancellation properties apply. We can now let both sides be exponents of the base e. And that left hand side is going to simplify to be just x plus 4 over x minus 1 equaling e cubed. So you'll notice that now we have a rational equation to solve. So while we're, we've been trying to solve for x, we've actually changed the problem a bit. And this is why it's important for us to think about that restriction that we discussed at the beginning to identify any possible extraneous solutions. Now to solve this equation, we can multiply both sides by x minus 1. And expanding the right-hand side, we get e cubed times x minus e cubed. And all we have to do is group our like terms together. Once we have our like terms together, we can now common factor out the x. And to solve, we just have to divide both sides of our equation by e cubed minus 1. So solving, we get 4 plus e cubed over e cubed minus 1. This is approximately equal to 1.26. This is greater than 1, so it satisfies our restriction and our initial equation. So there we have our one solution to the problem.